Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coffee to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Please hold. Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard, and I was told it wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Please hold it. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, e e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Please hold.
shame over here. I got these snappers itching and whooping and crying all over the place. Snappers itching and whooping. Just all over the place I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? Called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. <laughs> have a lawn mowing service or something? My good-for-nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? Please hold. Supervisor, I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. I'm uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? 
I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Please hold. if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean like maybe to disguise the robbery at night i keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room but when i go look at it i find the place spotless but haven't yet found anything missing i've talked with the cops but they keep telling me to call this number so here i am is there something you can do please hold sent me some info when I was asking for some lawn care. Now my whole family's sick to our stomachs and itchy as all get out. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, jerk. against your place of business up there. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. Sod, and I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, <laughs> what's it gonna do? What's it gonna do to make this right? Supervisor Carol here, letting you know that your trial employment period here has ended. Please remember that all you have seen here is strictly confidential. Do not tell anyone what you have learned here today. Our eyes rest upon me. We hope to work with you again soon. Please. 
Jaod.